My name is uh, Jeff. I live in North East Philadelphia. I was diagnosed uh, with schizophrenia when I was 17 years old. I had a rough time growing up. Uh, there was a lot of difficult situations that I had to endure. I didn't have any friends at that time. I felt hopeless. But once I had my first breakdown, I was hospitalized then, uh, right before I graduated high school. I stayed home, basically, that, that whole 1970s. That was a whole decade that uh, was unproductive. And if I continued to do that, I would wake up one day, you know, an old man, and not have felt like I accomplished anything. I was seeing a psychiatrist, and he encouraged me to enroll into a mental health program. The program was very big on building social skills, um, making friends, and being part of uh, society as a whole. And that was important because that made me build up my self-confidence. Over the years, I was on a lot of antipsychotic medications until I tried one particular um, psychiatric medication that as uh, soon after I started taking it, I felt the best I did since I was a little boy. I had no self-consciousness uh, being out in public on this medication. When my psychiatrist warned me that I would develop physical symptoms as in several years in the future, I wasn't really concerned about it because I was doing so well, I didn't want to have the risk of giving that up. Several years later, I woke up one morning uh, and I noticed that my cheeks were puffing in and out uncontrollably. And I was horrified when I saw my image in the mirror. And then the puffing in and out uh, changed to uh, grimacing. And I wasn't surprised that I was uh, diagnosed with tardive dyskinesia, TD, because I knew grimacing was one of the symptoms, but I was surprised. I started to have other physical uh, problems that I wasn't prepared for. TD has had a big impact on my life. My symptoms of TD are very visible, and as a result, uh, people look at me differently. I travel by public transportation, and I have kids turn around and stare at me because they're curious or they don't understand why this man's making faces. So I don't get upset about that, but it does upset me. And when people see me grimacing, they come to the conclusion that uh, there's something wrong with me. I also dealt with uh, discrimination. Several times when I went with a friend into a restaurant, the hostess or the host uh, escorts me to the small dining room and they do that to keep me away from most of the patrons. I'm very saddened that there's uh, people who have TD and because of their movements, they're embarrassed to be around other people. Over the years, I work with my doctors to treat my TD, but nothing really uh, worked effectively. I think doctors uh, could be more helpful with her patients by addressing the social stigma that uh, TD patients have to endure and finding steps where they can help their patients feel comfortable in the community. I've been very fortunate to be in the community. I like being on committees, seeing the same people every time and you have a connection with them. Also, I'm very active at my church. I teach Sunday school to the adults. I've been making presentations for years. And I think what, uh, what is most rewarding is uh, they see that I have challenges like schizophrenia and tardiskinesia. 
and they see all that I'm able to do despite these disorders. If I can do it, then other people can do it as well. I believe I can make a difference. Tardive dyskinesia. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Living Well with Schizophrenia channel. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I make videos about what it's like to live with schizoaffective disorder or schizophrenia. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, please make sure to subscribe to our channel. All right, so just a quick disclaimer before we get into the content of this video that we were compensated by MedIQ, which is an organization that provides continuing education for healthcare professionals such as 